one messed up. Um, now we're gonna have one of our prior honor students. She was on our honor honor student list for four years, straight years in high school. She is now a freshman at Brigham Young University. Um, just as smart as those around me, just as long as I worked hard. When people hear Marshallese, negative thoughts come to mind. They think that we're ignorant and lazy, so it's up to us to show them that we're not. Aloha and Yahweh to you all. As we all know, this is a very important day because it is a day we recognize all the honored students and their accomplishment in school thus far. I would like to thank the MED committee for giving me this opportunity to speak to you all today. It is very nerve-wracking, but I'm so happy that I'm a part of this event. I feel so honored to stand before you today and share a little about my story. But before I do that, I'd like to thank our Heavenly Father for his many blessings and his endless guidance amongst us all. I would also like to recognize all the Yuroj and Leroj, as well as the special speakers that came today to support our Marshallese community. I'd like to thank all you wonderful committed parents who support your child or children in all that they do. I know that I am blessed with two amazing people that I call my mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Anatom, who has been there for me throughout my ups and downs. She's the lady that's cheering over there. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> I would like to recognize all the honor students who are seated before me today. Doesn't it feel nice to know that all these people, look around you, are here to support you? I know for me it did. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chumako Natalie Anatov, and I am 18 years old. A little bit about myself, I was born in the Madra Marshall Islands, and then at the age of three, my father and I came here to Oahu for medical reasons. After getting treated, my parents decided that it was best for the rest of our family to move here. I attended both Waipahu Elementary and Intermediate School. After that, I attended Waipahu High School and graduated as a summa cum laude, senior project completer, early college and college acceptance, class of 2015 Resilient Soldiers. here in Maie. I am majoring in math education, wanting to be licensed in both general education and special education. I too sat where you are sitting. My siblings and I were all a part of MEE, and from the seventh grade to my senior year in high school, the feeling of being a part of this program has never changed. It was definitely worth it. Today, I was given a free range of what I could speak about. And so I'm going to share with you my views on support from a parent or guardian, self-motivation, and how I got to where I am today. Okay, so first, I'm going to share about support from parents and guardians. To the parents and guardians, thank you. If it wasn't for you and your guidance, who knows where these kids would have ended up. There is a whole community of Marshallese kids who don't value their education and it's because they don't have a firm foundation at home. As a parent or guardian, you are your child's best advocate and therapist. You are there to push them and to support them every step of the way. You are there to guide them and to help them make the best decision possible. I remember one night, I called my mom, telling her I was a failure because I didn't pass my test. I cried because I knew it would have disappointed her but she simply replied that it was okay. It is okay to fall here and there because I can learn from my mistakes and become better. She reminded me that I did my best and I should stand strong for the next time a test comes around. She gave me hope and encouraged me. She reminded me that whenever I fall, she, along with my father, will always be there to pick me up, dust me off, and motivate me to keep going. 
Parents are the reason why their kids are where they are today. I learned in my education class that a child usually does better with support. If they are alone, they feel that they don't need to do anything because there's no one there to help them or to support them. A teacher can do only so much because the ratio from, student, from teacher to student is one to 30. So it is important that parents are involved in a child's education. Connecting home and school together is a key to a child's success along with the positive involvement of their parents and guardians. I can personally say that my parents have molded me to the person that I am today. I am where I am because of them. So mama and papa, They provide everything and anything we need because they love us. So when you see your parents after this little program, you give them a hug and you thank them, okay? <laughs> to the honor students, I want to talk to you about talk to you about self-motivation. Yes, the support of your parents and family is one factor, but at the end, you have to want to succeed. You have to do your part also. One thing that helped me push myself was positive feedbacks I got every time I did well. Hearing, Jaraman, congrats, or you did it, gave me this unexplainable great feeling that I always wanted to work towards. It's something that I always push myself for so that I can always reach. The idea of disappointing my parents is a nightmare, so I made sure that I did everything I could to succeed. My parents have sacrificed so much and given up their wants and needs to provide for me and my siblings. And for that, I am eternally grateful. I want to one day grow up Bagayo so that they don't have to worry about anything. However, in order for me to do that, I need to further my education and reach all the goals that I have set for myself and to be stable. When I feel like I want to give up, I think about all the sacrifices they made for me and keep pushing forward. I also keep pushing forward to show others. My goal is to attempt to change the perspective of society on the Micronesian or Marshallese people. And being in that school and also being a part of this project made me realize I have to stand for who I am and um, I have to show that I can, like, I can be, my goal is to, I'm sorry, I'm being stern, but um, my goal is to one day change the perspective of society or attempt to change the perspective of society on Micronesian people and doing that, that's getting, furthering my education and um, breaking that um, uh, goggle that they have that Micronesian people can't do what other people can do. So. I'm doing this to prove that we are just as smart and just as capable. And I'm also doing this for myself, for a better future. Throughout high school, I would hear in the halls, Micronesian this, Micronesian that. Sometimes it hurts to hear that I speak too good of an English for a Micronesian, or that I'm smart for a Micronesian. We need to change that perspective, and that's another thing that motivates me. You guys, too, can make a difference in your schools. You guys can continue to succeed and do better, and through your actions, you can leave a mark in people's lives. You know, I've seen people live paycheck to paycheck, and that is a life that I definitely do not want to live. I want to wake up every morning and not worry about bills or looking for change. Thinking about my future and what it has in store for me gets me to push harder and to stay motivated. The decisions that we make now, the decisions that we make now, guys, will affect our futures a lot. That is why every le learning opportunity I get, I take because it will help me prepare for my future and to be successful. There is no harm in learning new things. Now that I'm in college, I am considered a grown-up. Teachers won't tell me to turn in my assignments or to come to class. We gotta be on top of our own studies and do everything ourselves. Time management is very important. Start now because it's a very good habit to have. Don't waste your time doing things that will give you temporary fun, like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, I see you. Um, that goes along with prioritizing. Like I said, they don't remind us in college, so we must have a calendar and keep track of our own assignments. A 
avoid procrastination. I have a big problem with this because I know that I will get the assignment done, but in the end, I still stress about finishing the assignment and I lose sleep. If I work on things earlier, I can be free to work on other things. Embrace all your failures. No one got to where they are without failing. It is with failure that you learn and you grow. So when you fall short, it's okay. You stand a little taller and keep going. It will all work out in the end. If it doesn't work out, then it's not the end. Don't ever give up. Have a positive mindset and always turn to the Lord because he's also there for you. After all the hard work I've done and all the trials that I have faced, it helped me a lot. I graduated as the only Marshallese in my graduating class that was in honors, who took early college, took the challenge of senior project, and got accepted to a college of my dream. A college of my dream. I received scholarships, I learned so much, and it was all worth it in the end. That's why I'm working my hardest in college as well. Take advantage of the education that you receive here on Oahu so you can go back home and help our people. Be proud of who you are. Be proud to say that you are Marshallese. I applaud you again and congratulate you for doing your best academically. Remember this, honor students. The road to success is not straight. There is a curve called failure, a loop called confusions, speed bumps called friends, red lights called enemies, and caution lights called family. You will have flats called jobs. But if you have a spare called determination, an engine called perseverance, insurance called faith, and a driver called Jesus, you will make it to the place called success. Thank you.